Good afternoon and welcome to St. Anne's Church. Today's Mass intentions are for the recovery of Peter Park and the eternal rest of Francisca Huen Rostro and Alfonso Vin Nguyen. Please stand. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Eat at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table. Saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to steer the couple of love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide. Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good evening everyone, my sisters and brothers, as we are here to celebrate the most holy Eucharistic sacrifice, let us rejoice and be glad. And now let us acknowledge the sins and failures and so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Mm -hmm. we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that has spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once, I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and shiny. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones, on which 24 elders sat, dressed in, which, in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, 
rumbling and peals of thunder. Seven flaming swords burnt in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures, covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion, and the second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man, and the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four like living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night, they could not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, because of your will they came to be, and they were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, 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 Lord, mighty God. Holy, 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 holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the ferment of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his serene majesty. Holy, 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 holy Lord, mighty, mighty God. God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with the lyre and the harp. Praise him with the tremble and dance. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty, mighty God. God. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty, mighty God. God. According to Luke. While a people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem, and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A nobleman went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself, and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, engage in trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, we do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after, up, after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants call to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned 10 additional ones. He replied, Well done, 
good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You, take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in a bank? Then on my return, I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now, as for those enemies of mine, who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. The parable of the gold coins in the gospel today is the same as the parable of the talents, what we had for last Sunday, the gospel. And my friends, it is a parable for all people and for all times. And it offers a key lesson for all of us for a life of faith, hope and grace. No one can stand still for long in life. Either we get more or lose. Either we advance towards God or slip back or fall. However, the Lord expects from us or expects us to be fruitful stewards of the gifts, the graces he gives us. Because the good Lord has invested in us so much that he has given his life, grace, mercy, and grace upon grace, and multiple talents. And my friends, today's gospel parable challenges you and me to use our gifts to achieve what God expects from us. How much we produce is immaterial, but at the same time, God does not compromise on anything else less than the best from us. This means Jesus expects the best from us. Not the minimum, but the maximum. And my friends, each one of us has been bestowed upon multiple blessings by God. God has blessed each of us with a unique combination of gifts, talents. So naturally, He expects us to use and develop these blessings to the best of our ability for God's kingdom, for His people. 
and for the good of the church. And this is how we honor and glorify the time God. And my friends, gifts and talents are given to bear fruit. Bearing fruits is the purpose and the meaning of a life. And this is how we make manifest the glory of God in word and deed. And maybe remember that God's blessings are meant to be used, meant to be developed by us as a sign that we appreciate God's blessings, God's love. So the parable today reminds us that God has blessed us with enormous number of gifts, not for just for ourselves, but for the common good, for the good of everyone around us. When we share our blessings with others, God multiplies what we give. God multiplies what we have. To everyone who has, more will be given. And my friends, we are called to live in such a way to make the best use of God-given gifts and talents, blessings and graces for the great and glory of God, for the spread of the God's kingdom and for the common good. And our various talents are the expressions of God's love for us. Indeed, our very life is the greatest gift of a God gives. And Jesus reminds us today we are to give an account of a life, an account of a faith that he has given us. All of us have received the grace of God. All of us have received the precious gift of faith. And our responsibility is not just to preserve the faith. It's not just to keep the faith. But we need to work on it. We need to work with it and grow with it. We need to promote and add value to our faith by living it out in our day-to-day -day life. And therefore, during this Holy Mass, may we pray from our hearts in order for us to recognize God-given gifts, blessings, and strengths so that we can use and develop them as we help to build God's kingdom in our families, in our society, in our parish, in our neighborhood, and in our country. Praise to be the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Please stand for the prayers of the faithful. My friends, as we gather around the throne of God, we now humbly lay our petitions before Him. That the church around the world may continue to grow and prosper under the protection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all who govern may be led by the Holy Spirit in strength, courage, and right judgment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the Lord in His mercy may help all who are in financial need, especially those who have lost employment because of the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all gathered here may grow in spiritual richness, in richness through the grace of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the recovery of Peter Park, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That all who have died especially for Francisca Buenrostro and Alfonso Vin Nguyen may return to the one who gave them life and worship God on the throne forever and ever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of life and love, 
We give you thanks for this beautiful family of faith that you have gathered us together to celebrate the most holy Eucharist. Make us realize, Lord, that you are with us and make us recognize your gifts and talents that you have given us, that you continue to give us every day. We may always build your kingdom in our midst. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Take my heart, O oh Lord, take my hopes and dreams, take my mind with all its plans and schemes. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. This alone, O oh God. that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of our holy church. Grant to our Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain for us the praise of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you Lord as without end we acclaim. Lord, the fount of all holiness, 
Make holy therefore these gifts you pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. So that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, and his brother bishops in all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of our face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him are in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. command and found by divine teaching we dare to pray all father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said in apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but in the faith of a church, 
and graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy wondering forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Jesus, who is the bread of life for us. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Who knows our pain? 
spiritual communion for those unable to receive Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring you, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God, God, and have a blessed evening, everyone.